Just a quick message to Denise there. You're not likely to see this, Denise, but maybe one of your underlings will. It might get to you. I know, was it yesterday? I think you've made about another £230 million in is it wages or dividends from 365. Very well done. Very pleased for you. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole um, the whole scenario of what happened, Denise, because I've done it a couple of times before, but about seven grand, that's what I reckon 365 owe me. You know, if out of that 230 odd million you do get to see this, you know, maybe contact me. They've got all my details there, you know, and, I, and I'll go through it with you. But I actually had to put your technical department right. It took me about, oh, four or five uh, live chats, no, six or seven live chats over the space of about 10 months for a problem that they kept saying wasn't there, but I kept pointing out. They did it in the end, it got sorted in the end, which means you can take more money off punters and earn more um, percentage on the back of the toe to give you the kickback for every bet placed. I think you get a kickback when they win as well, so you're getting the double bubble, you know. So it is down to me that you're getting some on the the big jackpots and the big um, place parts. But yeah, I never got the money that really you owe me for all the work I put in, but don't worry about it, Denise. As long as you're all right, love, I, I'm fine with you. As long as you've got your 200 million quid, don't worry about poor uh, suckers like ourselves, the punters. Um, right, that's part one. Part two, I noticed yesterday for other punters, not just for me, Skybet, they've changed the terms of best odds guaranteed. They're all changing terms on a daily basis. Some aren't giving them at all. Some are giving them all the time. Some are giving them from the night before. Some are giving them from nine o'clock on the morning of. It's changing like the wind, really. I noticed today the Skybet have changed the terms. Now, they're not offering best odds guaranteed um, unless punters are staking 30 quid in the previous week. If you put 30 quid on in bets in the week, the following week you've got best odds guaranteed. If you're not placing 30 quid with them, it isn't there for you. They're saying they think it's okay. They're saying they give more back to anybody else in racing with the free bets club. I think if you do the 30 week, you get a five in free bets. Now, whether they've pulled that to give best odds, I don't know. I don't think they have, but nothing would surprise. But, you know, I'm saying that they're looking after punters by giving them the best odds guaranteed. Well, you are saying to start with, you've got to bet at least 30 quid. That might be more than some bet with you, Sky bet that, that is. That might be some more than some people bet all week. So now you're forcing punters to bet even more money with you than either they normally would with you or they would with anybody. Um, so that's not very good in the times when we're supposed to be looking at problem gambling, is it really? And also, what you're going to do is you're going to offer best odds. Of course you are. But if these people that want best odds know what they're doing and they're good gamblers, good punters, not only will you not offer them best odds, you probably won't offer them a betting account. You'll probably pull it away from them because let's, let's face it, you bookmakers, you don't want winners. You want to be collecting, not paying. Paying's not your business. It's all about collecting, isn't it? So as I say, yet again, that's another bookie gone down the slippery slope of not looking after punters, but none of them do anyway. Best odds guaranteed, gone at Skybet, unless you're betting 30 quid a week and they think that sounds all right. What a shame, what a shame, what a shame.